All right. Well, I've done a bit of work on this thing over the past couple of weeks. I managed to replace most of the components underneath the chassis. The only way I could do it um, was to lie the set on its front and sort of pull the chassis out and put it on an angle, basically a light across the the back of the set on a, on a uh, light across the back of the set on an angle because um, the wires were just too short to actually sort of there's only way I could sort of see uh, only way I could probably sort of logically see uh, the way of actually getting underneath um, it was actually quite messy under here obviously whoever worked on it in the past had just tacked various components and places obviously to try and get the vertical stage working um, this was f would have been originally full of those Hunt's capacitors. Um, I, I did also copy the donor chassis, which is sort of a, as you can sort of see, these horrible Weimar caps and these crusty old T red ones and those TCCs and of course Hunt's everywhere. I also copied, I went by this layout as well. They're both pretty much the same, but I went by this one as well, just for for for, for, our, re for our reference points as well. Um, yeah, so, so that's pretty much. This all sorted. My next step is going to be applying the power and uh, see what results I get. Um, that's pretty much where I'm at. Where I'm at at this stage. So yeah, um, and here's a pile of all the dead bits so far. All these TCC caps all measured, completely leaking on the heath kit, and number of the res number of those resistors were also out of tolerance as well. It's quite funny. This one here, a um, couple of 3.3 .3 megs in parallel to make about 1.8 meg, story 3.3, and one of them, one of these was actually open circuit, so it's quite unusual because these Phillips resistors are generally, these old Phillips resistors are generally quite good quality, but oh, obviously it's a first time for everything. Um, yeah, so pretty much now what I'll do, I'll, I'll install the chassis upright again and reconnect the yoke wires and apply the power and see what happens. So. Yeah, so that's it for now, and um, stay tuned for more. Cheers. Okay, well, I've um, rewired everything up, and uh, the chassis is now upright, and back where it's meant to be and everything. Um, temporarily soldered the wires back onto the yoke under there. So, here we go. This is the first power-up. Um, I did power this thing up, or oh, probably had a good probably two or three years ago when I discovered the vertical oscillated locking transformer was faulty. So um, this is my first power up since then. Um, previous power up just got a frame collapsed and it's, I pretty much got, I didn't have it power on for too long because I'm um, just aware of all the old components and everything and sort of went fault finding after that and that's when I discovered the transformer was um, open circuit. So I've got my trusty old Variac here. So I'm probably about 100 odd volts or about hundred and a half power sort of thing. And we'll um power on and see what happens. I've got the meter on I think one of the one of the main B plus lines. So um I'll just monitor it and see what happens. So <laughs> there's a pot light down on there. The pilot light down there glowing away. Of course, this thing being a in a series wide set, using all P series valves. What's happening on there? So not just. <coughs> Circuitry is starting to draw a bit of current. You can hear something there. The valves start to conduct now, so of course the valves are dropping. Let's give it a bit more. And still got all the original 
main filter caps in that um, awful bloody selenium rectifier as well. I'll probably end up changing that, getting rid of it and putting the Zenodio, putting a um, diode in a resistor in series to to match whatever the voltage is anyway. So and nothing on the screen as of yet. Um, all right, we do have. Some audio there, but I can't can't hear what much else is going on to be honest. Um, there's no nothing. Okay, I'll just give it a get a bit more. Shine probably 200 volts away, so we should be getting something now, I dare say. And still nothing. Hmm, okay. Leave it more and see what happens. I was saying if there might still be problems, I think, with this. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's a bit better than we had last time. We had a, just a bloody vertical line last time. Let's see the transformer. What's the problem? Well, look at that, eh? <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, not, not really that. I'm not really that surprised, to be honest. But um, I didn't sort of expect to have further problems down below with all the parts I changed, and obviously, obviously got all the, uh, obviously got all the new components wide and right because it wouldn't be producing the raster otherwise. Hmm. Okay. See what happens. So a bit more, a bit more down the old power supply. Okay, it's starting to fill. Just starting to fill out a bit now. Now oh, there we go. Oh, we've got snow there. It's actually looking quite promising. It's a bit weak, but um. I think we've got something happening there. Let's grab a crocodile clip and hook it onto the antenna. Ooh! Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Oh, bloody hell. Ha ha ha! We have life. Yeah, Chris. Oh, blow me down. Look at that. Life in them hills isn't particularly great, but it's it's uh, sh shit. Oh bloody hell! Well, look at that! Yahoo! It it lives! Hee 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 hee! I'm quite wrapped. Well, it proves that the front end's working. We've got sound, we've got picture, deflection's okay, EHT's okay, everything's working. It's a bit, it's a bit crappy, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's still got most of it's still got a lot of a lot of original components in there. And the sound is also up four bore. Got a few flyback lines there. It's probably that's the sound up four bore. Horizontal hold. It's hard at one end. 
Look at unstable. Hey, who's complaining? We've got a picture. Far out. Choice. Oh, I so said the probably the battle's probably half over now. Actually, now I've got a picture on the screen. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy. Oh, look, seriously, I'm not surprised with the amount of original components and hunts, capacitors and all those vistas all sitting up there. There's probably a, probably a faulty valve or two. Um, I'm not surprised that we've got issues, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to bring it up to full. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to bring it up to full mains. Um, this is basically enough to indicate to me that we've pretty much got a, a working set to a degree. So, it's you change channels, and it sort of comes right for a second. Uh, We're fine, though. Nothing's going. So you kind of leave it off station, and then you go back. It sort of. It's all sort of clear and a lot bright. It's a bit, a lot clearer and a bit more contrast for a split second with better sound and then. Hmm. Well, I have to say at this point in time, I'm pretty pretty stoked. It's vertical. Cool. Right. That's height. So we've got um, linearity. Oh, overall linearity. What's? Oh, there you go. It's alive. It's alive, as they say. Oh, yes, I know that was rather cheesy. <laughs> Oh well, I suppose the next next phase is to start changing all the components and start fault finding up here. Because uh, as you can see, there's plenty of of crust under there that needs to get eradicated. So um, might just bring it up to full mains and just see actually what happens. That's pretty much full mains now. See so if there's any difference in picture quality. A little bit. Mm, yeah. Even the high controls. Carolyn visited the same web address twice, which suggests he's using various URLs. Who wins? Well, there's the rub. Every time I access my computer. Virus. That's weird. It's rather weird. Hmm. High controls that will ride it on in too. Almost like too much height or something. Okay. Yeah, it's even got a few little issues there, but that's not too be over concerned about. Okay, well, I'm pretty much concluded here, and um, yeah, rather big step with this thing now, so I can uh, continue on on a fault find and try and sort all problems out and uh, yeah start changing more components and see if I can get the, get the thing to to improve I suppose I better turn it off now I suppose it could be a good idea <laughs> Right, until next time, stay tuned and thanks for watching. Cheers.